The question says zero point three gram of an oxalate salt was dissolved in hundred ml solution. Volume of solution is hundred ml. Okay. The solution required ninety ml of N by twenty K M N four for complete oxidation reaction. Okay. Why? Because strong oxidizing agent is given there K M N four. So obviously it will be oxidizing any substance which is coming in contact with K M N four. Okay. The question says the percentage of oxalate ion in the salt is okay. What is the mass percentage of oxalate ion? Okay, and total mass of the salt is given here zero point three gram is there. Okay, out of zero point three gram, how much oxalate ion is present? And that value we need to calculate. Okay, and what is its percentage? The first of all we need to calculate the mass of oxalate ion present in this mass. Okay. So from the oxalate salt, you can see there are two substances: oxalate salt and K-1O4. Okay, from the oxalate salt, we can get oxalate ion. I remove the spectator ion. So we have oxalate ion C2O4. It is two minus is there. Okay, metal ion I remove as a spectator ion. We have K-1O4 is there. If I remove spectator ion K plus, then I will get permanganate ion. Here we have the permanganate ion. K-1O4 minus is there. This is the actual reaction is taking place. Okay, now we can complete the reaction. You can see this is strong oxidizing agent. Then oxalate ion will undergo oxidation reaction, and when it undergoes oxidation reaction, it always converts into carbon dioxide, in which carbon is present in its maximum oxidation numbers. Okay, oxalate ion coming from oxalic acid. It means this reaction is taking place in acidic medium. Then we can say Mn4 minus will always convert into Mn2 plus in acidic medium. Okay, so permanganate ion always converts into Mn2 plus in acidic medium. Reaction is complete. Okay, we completed the reaction. Now, since uh, the question is talking about two substances, oxalate ion and permanganate ion, so we can apply the concept of molecules. Number of molecules of this substance is equal to number of molecules of this substance. And if we apply the concept of molecules, we need to apply. No, we need to calculate the n factor value. Equation is ready. N factor value can be calculated. Why we need n factor value? Because the formula we have number of molecules, number of molecules. Remember, very important. Millimoles, millimoles multiplied by n factors. And next we have normality multiplied by volume in ml. Okay. And next we have molarity multiplied by volume in ml and multiplied by n factor value. These three formula you should remember. Okay, and based on the data provided, we apply any of this formula. Okay, pay attention carefully. You can see n factor is given here. We need to calculate n factor in case of normality. If the normality is given here, we don't need to calculate n factor because normality multiplied by volume in ml n factor is not required. Okay. Always balance the number of atoms before balancing the charge. We can find out the oxidation number for the same atoms on both sides of the equation. Then we calculate n factor value. Two carbon on the other side, one carbon multiplied by two. Four two is eight minus two is there plus six. Two carbon is equal to plus six. One carbon is present in plus three oxidation number. Other side, two two is four carbon is present in plus four oxidation numbers. Okay, if one carbon is plus three, if one carbon is plus three, then two two carbon will be Present in plus six oxidation numbers. Other side, one carbon is plus four, then two carbon will be present in plus eight oxidation number. Very interesting. Now, if you look at the oxidation number, you can see oxidation number of carbon is increasing from plus six to plus eight. Increase in oxidation number is always oxidation reaction. Now, find the difference in oxidation number. Plus eight and this is plus six. Eight minus six is equal to two. We got the n factor value that is two. Okay. For permanganate ion, also we can calculate n factor value by calculating the oxidation number of manganese on both sides of the equation. But it is not required because for this normality is given here. Okay. Anyway, apply the concept of molecules. Number of molecules. Number of molecules. Of C2O4, it is two minus is equal to number of molecules. Half we have MnO4 minus MnO4 minus, <coughs> and based on the data provided, we can apply the formula. Number of molecules of oxalate ion is given here. Okay, for this oxalate salt, you can see volume is given here, and you can see the percentage of oxalate ion. We have to calculate means first of all we have to calculate the mass of oxalate ion present in this total mass. 
and if we happen to calculate the moles of oxalate we can easily convert moles of oxalate into mass of oxalate and moles we can get from the molarity molarity multiplied by volume because volume is already given here and factor we already calculated so we have the formula molarity multiplied by volume how much volume is there 100 ml it should be in ml and what is the n factor value in this case 2 is there other side if you look at the data for potassium permanganate you can see volume is given there and normality is also given there so we can apply the formula normality multiplied by volume in this case always keep in mind you can see any of the formula equal to the number of molecules you can use based on the data provided okay so normality we have 1 by 20 and multiplied by what is the volume 90 is there now we can simplify okay pay attention carefully we have a Molarity is equal to, we can transfer 200 because it is multiplied by 200. So this is 90 divided by 20 and this is 200. 200 is there. 0, 0 cancel out. So 9 by 400 we are getting. Molarity we are getting 9 by 400. Okay. 9 by 400. Now pay attention carefully. Molarity, sorry, it is molarity. Molarity is equal to 9 by, 9 by 400. For the oxalate ion, volume of the oxalate salt is given 100 ml volume is known molarity is known moles of oxalate and can be calculated apply the formula of molarity we have molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by volume in liter volume should be in liter okay molarity we know it that is uh, anyway i can write this expression in this way also moles is equal to molarity and multiplied by volume in liters okay what is the molarity we calculated 9 by 400 i write 9 by 400 is there 9 by 400 multiplied by volume in liters and you can see in the question the volume of the oxalate salt is given 100 ml so 100 ml i can convert into liters so 100 ml is equal to what 0 0.1 liter is there 0 0.1 liters okay so let's plug in here we have 0 0.1 liter is there 0 0.1 liters so if I remove the decimal, it will become uh, 10. So 9 by, we have 4,000 is there, 4,000. These many moles we got. Now we can easily convert these moles of oxalate ion into mass. And this is what we are looking for. Okay, this is what we are looking for. So first of all, we can calculate the molar mass. Because we have the formula, mass is equal to, mass is equal to mole multiplied by molar mass molar mass very interesting concept okay oxalate ion molar mass we can calculate molar mass of oxalate ion molar mass of oxalate ion c2o4 it is 2 minus is equal to 2 carbon and each carbon is what 12 plus 4 oxygen 4 multiplied by 16 is there it is 24 and this is what 64 and this is equal to 88 is there molar mass of oxalate ion is 88 now we apply this formula to calculate the mass of oxalate ion okay so we have mass of oxalate and mass of oxalate and c2o4 2 minus is equal to 9 by how many moles 9 by 4000 9 by 4000 and multiplied by 88 is there if you want to simplify okay 4 by 4 we can divide 1000 this is what 4 to j8 and 2 j8 okay so 9 to j18 9 to j18 19 and 19 divided by how much 1000 and if you simplify it will be 0 0.1 98 is coming 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.198 is there okay that's it mass of oxalate ion is 0 0.198 and this is what in gram is in gram okay total mass of oxalate salt how much uh, you can see we have 0 0.3 gram and the mass of oxalate ion present in the salt that is 0.198 gram is there then we can calculate the mass percentage mass percentage of oxalate ion is equal to what mass of oxalate ion divided by total mass total mass is what 0.3 let's apply the formula we have the mass percentage of oxalate ion very interesting concept so we have the mass percentage mass percentage of oxalate ion c2o4 2 minus is equal to Mass of oxalate and 0 0.198 divided by, okay, 0 0.3 is there. Total mass of the oxalate salt and multiplied by 100 is there. Multiplied by 100. Okay. 
if i remove this decimal it is 10 to power minus 3 is there if i remove this decimal 10 to power minus 1 is there okay divide 3 6 18 3 6 18 is there okay 3 6 18 okay so we are getting here this negative will go 10 to power minus 4 is there so we have 66 and multiplied by okay this negative will go it will become 10 to power 10 to power 10 to power minus okay sorry 10 to power 2 will become so this is what 100 and multiplied by 10 to power minus 2 is there it will cancel out and we are getting 66 percent okay 66 percent so mass of oxalate ion in the given salt we have that is 66 percent let's see if any option is going here we have b option sorry b option we have that is b option 66 percent okay the mass percentage of oxalate ion in the given salt is 66 percent.